Florida versus Chattanooga. Have you ever considered moving to Chattanooga from Florida? In today's video, we're gonna discuss the differences of Florida versus Chattanooga. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Living in Chattanooga, Tennessee. My name is Junior Francica and I'm a realtor here in Chattanooga. Before we get into today's video, as much as I love making these videos and producing all this content, um, what I love more is helping you with your real estate needs. So if I don't answer any questions that you have on your mind today in this video or any other videos I've done, please feel free to reach out to me to the number on your screen. Uh, shoot me a text, give me a call, or find me on social media. I love to help you guys out and I absolutely love when you reach out to me. So that being said, let's get into today's video. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the market or the housing prices or the cost of living differences from Florida to Chattanooga. Now, of course, it's, it's hard to compare a whole state to a small little city, but what I'm gonna try to do today is compare a couple major cities in Florida and that way even if you don't live there you can kind of compare your situation to that city and see if you coming to Chattanooga will benefit you or just knowing the differences to those cities um, so with that being said let's talk about rent prices and uh, home prices okay so Chattanooga the average rent here is about twelve hundred dollars and the median house price is about three hundred thirty six thousand dollars as of February or oh, as of January 2022 Okay, so the, the cities that I'm gonna compare it to is Miami, Orlando, Tampa, and Jacksonville. Again, it's, it's all the bigger cities kind of in Florida, but depending where you are, you can compare yourself where you are to those cities, okay? So in Miami-Dade, it's about $2,430 for the average rent, which is pretty much double of what it is in Chattanooga. And also the median house price is $471,000, which is a lot higher. So obviously if you're able to sell that higher price home and come here, you can have a lot more uh, cash or disposable income to put into a nicer house here in Chattanooga. Now in Tampa, it's $1,850, which is still higher than the 1,200 here in Chattanooga as far as rent goes. And the median house price is 375,000 compared to the Chattanooga's 336. In Orlando, it's 1,629, and the median house price is $369,000. And Jacksonville is a little bit similar to Chattanooga as the, the rent is 1,239. And actually the median house price of Jacksonville is actually lower at $278,000. Now that's just to give you an idea again to compare yourself to Chattanooga, but that's a good baseline so you can see the differences in rent and house prices. topic that we're going to discuss is the weather or the nature here compared to Florida. Um, that's always a big um, subject or that's where people have a lot of questions. How is the weather there in Chattanooga? Because they always want to compare it to where they're coming from. Okay. Uh, one of the main things is humidity. Um, I grew up in Florida. I've lived in different places in Florida. So I understand that the humidity in Florida is kind of like nowhere else in the country. Um, here in Tennessee, it does get pretty humid. I remember one summer it was so hot and humid here. We're like, okay, um, it has to be as humid as Florida and we went back to Florida to to see my wife's family and it did not compare at all Florida is way more humid I know a lot of times in the summer people don't go out as much because it's so humid um, so I would say here in Chattanooga it's about 70% 75% of the actual hot and humidity of Florida so that can be a good thing especially when you're coming to Florida you will have um, you know a lot more enjoyable experience being out in the summer going hiking and being out in nature and another thing too is the pollen count so with uh, all the greenery that we have here in Chattanooga in the springtime and in the fall time pollen count goes through the roof um, you know a lot of the times you look up in the sky and it's almost yellow uh, when it rains your car turns yellow because of all the pollen in the air and if you have a lot of allergies coming here you're gonna be affected maybe even the first or two years until you kind of get used to the area so just know that um, allergies 
season here is mainly spring and, and fall time and it's gonna affect you a lot. So a big uh, sticking point for people from Florida is winters. So hands down, Florida winters is awesome. Um, I think it's like 70 degrees, 60 degrees, it's sunny, it's amazing. Here in Chattanooga, not so much. So we do get a lot of uh, cold, gloomy, rainy days. Um, during the winter, it rains a lot more here. Um, you know, with the wind chill, we can get single digits maybe a month out of the year. Uh, but besides that, it, it kind of sticks around 30 degrees. So if you're coming from Florida, where you're used to having awesome winters, over here, it's not gonna be as fun for you, but it's something that you will get used to. Um, and that's just something that you should take into account. So. People call me all the time and ask about tornadoes. Um, that is part of the weather. So Tennessee or Chattanooga, you have tornadoes. And Florida, you have hurricanes, right? So you have to compare the two. Um, growing up in Florida, hurricanes were not a big deal for us because obviously you can prepare when it's coming. You have hurricane parties. You know, that's how it was growing up. Here in Chattanooga, tornadoes was something different for me and my family. Um, the, the good thing is that it's not like the movies, like you're just outside chilling and then all of a sudden a tornado hits you. It's not like that. You do um, have news stations and Twitter that you can check up on the status of the weather and they kind of tell you where the, the weather, weather patterns are going and where the tornado is going to hit and the direction it's going to go. So you do have some advance notice to get in your basement or the innermost room. But with all that being said, we do, uh, we do not get tornadoes that often. We got one about three years ago and before that was about 10 to 11 years ago and it was really over the border into Georgia so technically it wasn't Chattanooga but that's something that you're gonna have to compare whether you know tornadoes are something you can deal with or you know hurricanes in Florida Another topic we need to discuss is rain. Uh, so you'll be surprised to know that Chattanooga gets a good amount of rain, even compared to Florida. So Chattanooga gets about 51 inches of rain a year, and I think the national average is 36 or 37. So it's well above national average as far as rain. So the cities that we spoke about earlier in Florida, um, I believe Miami gets 59 inches, Tampa gets 50 inches, Orlando gets 52, and Jacksonville gets 50. And I remember when I used to live in Florida, rain was really an afternoon thing. It would shower a little bit and the sun come right back out. Here in Chattanooga, it's a little bit more constant, especially in the winters. It's very drizzly type rain and it's there for like a week or two at a time. Um, so that's kind of the differences in the rain patterns and also just know that you're gonna still get a lot of rain here in uh, Chattanooga. One of the last things I want to talk about as far as weather goes is sunshine. Now this is a completely different story than rain. Florida you get a lot more sunshine than Chattanooga. Chattanooga gets about 207 days of sunshine a year. The national average is 205. So technically speaking we're above uh, average as far as uh, sunshine but nothing compared to Florida. Um, for Florida Miami gets 248 days, Orlando gets 233, Jacksonville 221 and Tampa gets 246. So obviously if you're coming from Florida, you're gonna get a lot more sunshine. Um, you do still get sunshine here, but not as much, and that's something that you should be aware of. So the other topic is outdoor life here in Chattanooga versus Florida. So Florida, obviously you have the beaches, which is amazing, and I wish Chattanooga did, but uh, unfortunately we obviously don't. Um, so Florida, you have the beach, um, you have a lot of flat areas, right? Um, and people love that. Uh, the, one of the main differences is the typography here in Chattanooga versus Florida. Chattanooga is very hilly, uh, very mountainous, a lot of hills, a lot of rolling hill, hills here in Tennessee, as opposed to Florida where everything is flat. One of the main reasons why I stayed in Chattanooga after visiting was the mountains um, and the nature that you can find here is completely different from Florida and that's what called me and I fell in love with the area because of that. So 
So outdoor life here in Chattanooga is very important. A lot of people move here because of that. You know, we have white water rafting, uh, rock climbing, mountain biking, hiking, uh, trail running, anything you think you can do outdoors besides going to the beach, you can find here in uh, Chattanooga. Florida, on the other hand, mainly revolves around the beach or just the sunshine, the pool, kind of that type of outdoor life. And if that's important to you and that outweighs everything that you can find in Chattanooga, it might be better you know, suited to stay in Florida. But if everything else besides the beach uh, is appealing to you or calls to you, Chattanooga is definitely the place for you. Another thing to note too is kind of Chattanooga is situated to where if you go to the East Coast, uh, kind of Georgia area, you're about five hours away from Savannah, which you can find the beach. If you go down to the Panhandle of Florida, you know, Destin type area, you're another five and a half hours away. So even though we don't have the beach, you know, in our backyard, um, you can get away for the weekend whenever you desire. And if you need to go to the beach, that's definitely an option for you. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is sports. So if sports is very important to you, we don't have any um, professional sports, but we do have a lot of minor league teams. So we have the Chattanooga Lookouts, which is a minor league baseball team. I think they're associated with the Cincinnati Reds. We have two minor league soccer team, uh, Chattanooga FC and Red Wolves. Um, we have college sports, which is University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. But, you know, if, if you're looking for professional teams, kind of like where Chattanooga is, two hours south you have all the Atlanta professional teams, and two hours north you have Nashville um, teams that you can go check out. So even if you, those two cities don't have your teams, your teams will more than likely come and visit those teams and you can see your team in person. But if you're just looking out to get away and go to see a ball game or see a soccer game, you know, we still have that type of atmosphere where you can take your family and your kids. Um, so we don't have professional, but we do have something that you can kind of still go out and see and be a part of. Something else I want to talk about is uh, traffic or commuting uh, to and from work here in Chattanooga compared to Florida. I grew up in Miami and I've been to other cities in Florida and there's just certain times of day that you just don't want to go outside because you will get stuck in traffic and you probably won't get to anywhere anytime soon. Um, that's never really been the case here in Chattanooga. Um, even if you live on the far east side of, of Hamilton County where Chattanooga is situated, um, Udawa or Appison area, from there to downtown in the morning as a commute, uh, you'll spend max 30 minutes uh, in traffic, which is not bad at all. Uh, people from here feel like the traffic is bad because it has been getting a little bit congested and there's kind of a, a fork where 75 meets 24 and it's kind of going east where all the truckers go through right so in the afternoon that there's kind of a, a big traffic situation there but besides that the traffic here is not that bad uh, places like Miami Tampa Orlando uh, Jacksonville have a lot more traffic so if you're spending an hour or two hours in the car commuting to work in the morning and in app and in the afternoon uh, know that coming here you're gonna spend 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes if there's an accident commuting to work. So that may be a big benefit to you if you're not wanting to spend that much time in the car or commuting to work anymore. The last point that I wanna to touch is just taxes. Um, the good thing about Florida and Tennessee, there's no state income tax. So a lot of times when people leave these two states or even uh, other states that don't have state income tax, they're really worried that they're gonna go somewhere and get that state income tax. Um, but you don't have to worry about that coming here, which is awesome. One thing I will say that Chattanooga has a high sales tax. So Tennessee as a whole has 7% sales tax and every different area or different county has their own sales tax on top of that. So here in Hamilton County, we have 2.25% sales tax for a total of 9.25% sales tax. Okay, uh, Florida has a 6% sales tax and obviously depending where you live, it's a little bit more than that, but not as high as Chattanooga. Uh, one of the cool things is our Costco is actually in Georgia right so chattanooga is right on the border of georgia and tennessee you can just drive to costco pay their four to five percent sales tax and then come back over to tennessee so that's one way to save money um, but just know that we do have a higher sales tax than you will have in florida so depending on what you're looking for as far as like um, if you want an outdoor life with mountains and trails and lakes and rivers um, if the beach living close to the beach is not that important to you um, if you can sell your high-priced house and work remote 
and come and live here um, you will get a lot of bang for your buck living here as well so if if all that makes sense to you this might be a great place for you to live to raise a family and um, like I always say feel free to reach out to me on the number on your screen if you have any questions at all I love helping you guys out and I absolutely love it when you reach out to me and until next time take care and God bless